Okay, this is another grand experiment. This is an experiment to see if a person such as myself or the character in my novel can be holding a six pack of bottled beer, let go of the handle of the six pack, and catch one of the bottles before it falls to the ground. I don't know if this is possible. I think it I think it's possible, but I don't know if I can do it. But I've rigged up in a little experiment here and uh, we'll see what happens with it. I'm a little bit nervous about it. It was easier thinking about it and saying, yeah, there'll be no problems, but uh, once I put the water back in the bottles, put the caps on, and then felt how heavy the six pack was, I started getting a little bit nervous, but this is a grand experiment, and we need to find out if this will work. And I'm a lot of nervous. I've got the Sugar Baby Squares. I have seven of them over here. I've got three stacked high there, and then three here, and then an extra one to the side. And then I've got Sugar Baby's blanket that she doesn't... Uh, get to lay on in the winter anymore because of the problems she has. I'm going to put it over uh, this area just in case there's any breakage. Maybe any of the glass broken will, will fall into that and we can shake the glass outside. So I'm thinking about this much thickness, like it's like four times here will be enough. and. Uh, then we have the six pack. These are all, these were all emptied by your Earth Mother and I, Michelob Ultra. There's only 2.5 carbs in each one. I think there's only like 50 calories, so they're they're very good for people who go on the low carb diet. I put the caps back on it. I filled it with water. I, we wash them out every night so they don't smell like beer when they're in the trash can. So they were already washed out. I filled them up with warm water and put the cap on, on each one, and I tested them to make sure that they're not going to leak just, just from normal usage or moving around. If the, the cap may fly off, I don't know, but as you can see, or I don't know if you can see, I guess it's not zoomed in, but you have to take my word for it. Oh, is that one leaking? No. They're all, uh, they're all on there as tight as I can get them. So, I'm going to drop this over this area here. And I'll try not to drop it on my foot. I'm going to be a little bit off balance because I don't want to break an ankle during one of these grand experiments. Because that would cost several grand if we went to the hospital, I'm sure. So, my character will be standing here like this in the novel and probably somebody drug addled or some drunk or, or having some similar problem will be robbing the place and he'll be in line and these guys one uh, maybe one guy maybe more will say you know everybody just keep your hands at your side I'm just gonna come by and get your wallet and nobody gets hurt blah 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 and the longer the little drama goes on it starts to go awry and Kyle realizes somebody better do something because the guy may not just rob, he may hurt somebody or he may be so high on drugs or so screwed up with alcohol that he may hurt somebody and not not intend to. So Kyle needs to do something and hopefully he'll be able to drop the six pack and I'm not I'm, in the novel he's going to drop the six pack, grab the beer and hit the guy I'm just going to grab it because there's a good chance if I grab this real fast and do that, I might hit myself in the head. And again, that will ruin the grand experiment and cost several grand if I go to the hospital. So This is what i got going, and I don't know how many times I'm going to do it, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try it several times, and unless the first time is just horrible and something really bad happens, and then that will be the end of the grand experiment. But I'll try, try it a few times, and uh, I really want it to work, and uh, I'm going to do my best. So here we go. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, first time. Yes, yes. I'm going to celebrate. I am. I'm going to celebrate. <laughs> it was warm when I put it in there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, the grand experiment is a rousing success. <laughs> None of the bottles broke. This smells, this doesn't smell of beer, so I'm assuming my hair is going to be fine. But the grand experiment... Well, you can't find because this is real life. If it's on the video, you can find that. So you don't win anything. So anyway, the grand experiment is a success. And Kyle will be able to do it. He'll be able to grab the bottle and hit the bad guy. Now all I need to know is if you hit somebody in the head with a beer bottle, will the bottle break? And Kirsty, I'm going to need your help with that one. And that is the end of the grand experiment. And the crowd goes wild.